Probably the last time you saw Renee Horn, she was wearing a helmet and a bulletproof jacket because she was a war correspondent in places like Iraq, charming parts of the world. Now, she's in a battle of different sorts. Triple BEE. She's done a PhD on Triple BEE, and she's starting a course at Gibbs in 2013 all about the subject because BEE, let's be frank about it, Renee has failed dismally. Of course, according to my PhD, it has failed dismally. I think it's concentrated more on ownership. Um, and I think the review of the scorecard is also concentrated on ownership. We need more skills development in the country. And I think that is actually not filtering through at this moment in time. I think also in terms of the Triple B unit, it's the first actually in the country in terms of Gibbs. So I think what we're going to do in terms of this curriculum um, development is actually kind of more broaden it out, ensure that we actually have a situation whereby... It's not a tick box approach at the end of the day. But if we need an academic course on triple BEE, it suggests to me that we've lost the plot already because it's far too complicated. If you've got to start teaching this stuff at a business school, then it's, it's become academic rather than practical. Well, um, when I did my PhD, uh, it was extensive interviews with multinationals, government, um, you know, even small, small business as well. And if you ask them, what is triple BEE? What's the difference between narrow BEE and triple BEE? They actually didn't know. I mean, um, I had one businessman saying to me, but actually how broad is broad-based? And I said, but I'm asking you the question. I mean, you should actually be the expert in terms of this. No, but how broad is broad-based? You're the expert, really. You should know how broad, broad is broad-based black economic empowerment. So I think broad-based black economic empowerment actually invokes different meanings, different messages to various different stakeholders. So what we need to do is get everybody on the same page. And I think with the curriculum um, design, what we're trying to do is get businesses into Gibbs, the first of its kind, ensure that we actually have more of the um, an inclusive agenda in terms of the, the, the elements, ensure that it's more bottom-up rather than actually top-down in terms of ownership, ensure that they actually we're all on the same page, that they are actually on the same page when they're actually dealing with triple BEE. And then, of course, we'll have a mentorship program which will be very unique because many of us will actually go okay what have you done in your company so far so what we actually want is transformation yeah. leaders transformation managers at the end of the day because previously all you had to do to be a, do a BE deal you had to get Cyril uh, on, on your board you had to give him a whole bunch of shares he said yes I'll share this about it if, if, if you like and off you went and everybody was happy because you ticked the box now you talk about the scorecard everybody goes oh yeah no the triple BE scorecard oh yes nobody knows what on earth it means but this is a scorecard which allows different weightings for different aspects of BE. So if I procure pencils from, uh, from, a, for, from a company that is empowered or if I pro procure food from a company that's empowered or I happen to make shares available to, uh, to BE shareholders, well, all of that stuff counts far more heavily than it did before. Indeed it does. Um, I think the, 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 the primary focus was in ownership and you would still see as from 2003 when the Act came through, 2007 of course when the Codes of Good Practice came through that ownership was still the focus. Um, of course if you want to talk about equity transfers you'd need a half a billion in the next um, you know, decade to actually have equity transfers. I don't think we have that kind of money in terms of South Africa. I think the problem is, is that we need to focus on socio-economic development, we need to focus on skills development. Socioeconomic development in terms of the review of the scorecard that's actually happening currently as we speak, um, there's been a lot of debate, a bone of contention. It's still actually five in terms of the scorecard. So we have five elements, the ownership, of course, your, 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 you know, your enterprise and supply development, your management um, control, which now has employment equity into it, your skills development, and of course, your socioeconomic development. Socioeconomic development still five. Why? Why are we still having five when we have issues such as Marikana actually happening in, uh, in, in the country? And is ownership still too much of an, is there too much of an emphasis still on ownership? I think, um, which will be scorecards? yes, of course. Um, um, I think um, there, there, there has been this, this particular aspect, another bone of contention, because we've actually raised um, the, the amount in terms of, you know, you know your qualifying um, companies. For example, you have, you know, exempted companies, the EMEs, um, and they are under 10 million. Before, there were actually 5 million um, under the five million that means you're exempt from the triple BE but now they've actually divided it into two in other words you have a level one and a level two in other words 50 percent ownership 100 percent ownership so you see the eyes are glazing be... over because mm -hmm. it's so blooming complicated the point is BE is transforming into a more sensible principles based guide book for making sure that South Africa is a more equitable place into the future too much emphasis still on, on ownership in your view. Mm -hmm. So here we sit with the situation as we go into 2013 where triple BEE is going to become part of the language. Does it make South Africa a better place in 10 years' time? 
Well, that's a very, 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 very good question. The issue is, is that we have to have an all-inclusive agenda. We have to have a transformational agenda at the end of the day. Um, we cannot have the aspects of ownership, as we've been talking about, being the primary or the priority element in the Triple B E scorecard. And I think that's what companies need to understand. I mean, if you, if you speak to even multinationals, they come in and they say, help us understand this thing. What, what Ownership, Do we have to just focus on ownership. Said, but no, you need to focus on other aspects of the, of, of the scorecard. For example, skills development. We, we have a massive skill shortage in this country. Um, the reason why you have the usual suspects constantly is because you don't really have a good turnaround in terms of entrepreneurs. Now we need skills development to ensure that we have entrepreneurs at the end of the day, these budding young entrepreneurs that actually we don't actually get the circulation of the usual suspects at the end of the day. So that's what I think needs to actually happen in the next 10 years. It hasn't happened so far. We need to make sure that it happens. I must be honest with you. I think the, 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 the review that, that they're doing right now in terms of the five elements, reducing it from seven to five, et cetera, is actually a more simplified version. However, still the ownership focus, we need to kind of actually make sure we have an all-inclusive agenda. An impassioned Renee Horn is starting a triple BEE course at Gibbs in 2013.